Well, good morning, drivers. What's going on out there? YouTube? What's up, y'all? Well, today is Wednesday. I am here at the uh, receiver waiting to uh, get to a dock door. So while I'm waiting, I thought I'd put a little video together about the about the uh, truck that I got this past week. I'm not liking it. I'm, I'm not feeling this truck at all. It's, it's growing up. So later on in the video, I will go ahead and give you guys the pros and cons of this 2017 KW T680. Funny thing just happened. Uh, I had to come down here to the TA to get my uh, trailer scaled, make sure that I am legal to drive on these internets. I mean, internet, interstate streets, interstate streets. Man, what's up with me today? The ride on these interstates, interstates. I, I'm just not getting it, man. Interstates. <laughs> All right, I got it right. I went into the uh, to the uh, diner or the diner, the diner, and um, I asked the uh, waitress. I was like, "Hey, how long would it take you to make the uh, the long haul breakfast? Because you know I haven't ate breakfast yet. Better yet, I haven't ate at all today." But she was like, she pulled me to the side and said this, you might want to wait a half an hour because our dishwasher is cooking right now. I'm like, whoa, where's the cook? The cook is on a break because he had to go home or something like that, but the dishwasher is cooking right now. Yeah, I don't think I want to eat anything from a dishwasher. So, I decided to come next door to the pilot and get me a subway. I was gonna save it for later on this evening, but I'm too damn hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat one now and eat one later. So I was gonna come to you with some pros and cons on this uh, on this KW that I got recently. Um, I've been driving it for for a little bit now and um, like I said before I'm not liking it I mean that's I'm not liking it as a bad thing it's just that I'm not liking it because I'm not used to it yet but while I got it I might as well tell you guys what I like and what I don't like about it what I like Oh my God, the ride, the, the ride, I mean, the way the truck drives and, and the ride in this truck, it is so comfortable and beautiful. I mean, it's like, I mean, when you get on a, when you get on a, when you get on a smooth ride and surface on the interstate, this truck drives like my SUV, man. This is definitely a, a, a good ride in this truck. All right, uh, what else I like about this truck? What else I like about this truck? Um, I like the gauges. It has nine gauges on here uh, and a digital display. So I, I like that. Um, I like the gauges and the readouts, the oil gauge, the voltmeter, the water meter, the oil meter, um, the air. What else I like about this truck? What else, what else, what else? The dashboard. 
Canadian that I had had a, had a had like a black strip in the middle of the windshield, which I didn't which I didn't too much care for. I didn't care for that too much. It, here's the DOT tip: keep your dashboard clean. I've seen a lot of drivers out there that got a lot of junk in their dashboard. First thing the DOT is going to look at to see how well your dashboard. So I like the radio. Uh, I definitely like the radio. Uh, the Cascadia radio is garbage. The uh, Kenworth radio, I like it a lot. I like it because I got a, I got a, I got a hundred and twenty-eight gig. Thumb drive that got all my backup music on. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, 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 oh. Let's talk about the switches and what I like and what I don't like about uh, the placements. So I'm going to tell you the one switch I like. I like the uh, exterior light test switch. I like that. Especially when you pre trip. That is that is good for when you pre trip because when you turn it on, it turns on all the lights. It, it turns on the uh, it turns on the ha the hazard lights. It turns on your blinkers, you know, your left, your right. Uh, it turns on your hazards, it turns on your clearance. You know, I, I like that. Like I said, that is good for pre trip so I, I like that. I don't like where the cruise control is at. It's, it's, it's up under the it's up under the dashboard. On on you know on cars in the uh, other truck that I drove, it was on the steering wheel. I don't want to have to look down at the at the at the bottom of the dashboard, you know, to resume my speed on the cruise control or set my speed on the cruise control. Because I think that's a distraction and it takes you away from, it takes your eyes off the road. Like I said before, it only takes one second. It only takes one second and, and everything changes, you know. Uh, same thing with the jake brake, or if you want to call it the engine brake. Just, I, I like the play, I do like the placements of the, uh, of the emergency four ways, the the truck lights, the clearance lights, uh, and the sleeper light. I like where they got that place there. It's, it's placed up at the top, uh, up at the top of the dashboard. Uh, I do like the window. Uh, I do like the window that's in the uh, that's in the uh, in the sleeper area. I, I like that. It's, it's nice to have, you know, to open up the shade and actually have some sunlight come up into that back. I, I like that. Another thing about this truck that I'm not feeling is the idle. Um, I came out of a Freightliner that had pretty good idle. I mean, when it's warm outside, when it's warm outside, the truck normally stays on so I can kick on the AC. And when it's cold outside, the truck, like I said, the truck will stay on so I can kick on the heat. Uh, in this truck right here, the idle shutoff is within five minutes. I mean, that's not even enough time to warm up the truck or get the truck warmed up. Hey, but all in all, I'm not feeling this truck, but it's growing on me. So, with that said, I personally don't like this truck. I would probably take, I would probably take this Cascadia over this KW right here, but as far as the ride goes, like I said before, it's a good riding truck. You, you definitely gonna be real comfortable driving this truck. But like I said, as far as, as far as everything I like about it and I don't like about it, it's up to you guys whenever you get the truck and see if you like it or not. It may not be for me, but it might be for you. So, like I said, you know, give it a try.
you might like it. Me personally, I like a, I like a Cascadia, so I guess you could call me a Freightliner man. So, but yeah, that that's it. That's that's how that's what I that's my feelings and that's that's my feelings and you know that's what I like and don't like about this truck. So, you guys, like I said, whenever you get in it, maybe you'll like it. Let me know in the comments below if you already tried.